Welcome everyone. Today we are going to be doing something slightly different, which is this is a MCM London vlog. In case you're new to uh, MCM, it is a convention that happens in London every year, uh, usually in May and October. And it's, I would say, the big convention in London or even the big convention in the UK, for me at least in my impression of it. Um, and it, it ranges from all sorts of interests such as uh, uh, pop culture, uh, media, TV shows, films, anime, manga, everything really is in there. Um, yeah, so I've been going to the con since 2011, which is a very long time. And it is one of my favorite, it is my favorite con to go to. Um, and it is my local con as well. Uh, so it usually happens on a Friday, Friday, Saturday and a Sunday. So that's three days. Um, I went to all three days because I was uh, very lucky to get a creator pass this year. Thank you so much. Um, it is, it feels kind of overwhelming to get it for the con I've been going to for 10 years, but yeah, it was really nice. So you can get a weekend ticket or you can get a ticket for each individual day. Uh, and there's also something called a priority, which is a, a slot of two hours before general entry, which is usually quieter. So we went all three days, but I'm, I'm showing my age now because I can't handle three full days of con anymore. So on Monday we went and we we got there for a priority a bit late. I think we got there for 11 and we left around four. And then on the second day we got there for a priority at nine and left around two. And today we got there for 10 and left around 2.30. So they're not full days, but I'd say we did a lot and we saw a lot. So I'll show you some of that footage now. Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to a convention and I'm going to vlog it so you guys can see what it looks like. Uh, we are going to MCM London, which is up at the Excel. I got ready this morning, and got up at 7.30, and we're hoping to make it there for 10, but probably not. Yeah, we're very lucky to be able to drive there, but I'll keep you updated and show you around the convention for the day.
Hello everyone, today is day two of Comic Con. We are inbound. Got up very early. I think the sun is still rising. Um, but today I'm wearing my Nina Zenik cosplay. A video about this will be here soon, hopefully. Um, it is looking a little bit undone, but that's because we're in the car. Uh, goals for today are to do some shopping in the morning. Uh, might have a photo shoot later and just try and find some friends. Um, yeah. That is the plan for today. I think we're going to take it a bit chill because yesterday was very intense and I need to practice some of my heart render motions and try to get one good photo. That's all I want for today, one good photo and some fun. So I will show you around the con a little later. So it is 3.15 and we are heading home. 
because oh my god what a long day it has been so hot not hot it's been like 20 degrees but that's hot for london in october and i really thought <sighs> I've been wearing a velvet skirt and a waistcoat and a woolen kefta all day and I'm just sweating. I'm sweating so bad and I was so hot. It's okay now because I, I went to Starbucks. Jesus Christ. It was a lot. Um, I, I'm really happy with this costume though. I think it was really good and got to see some people that I haven't seen in a long time say hi i'm very awkward in person so if if you spotted me at con today and i was a little awkward please forgive um but yeah it was really nice a really busy uh, saturday is always the busiest day but that's that's how it is um so we're calling it in early because we are super tired and overheated my hair has fallen apart i got one photo of this costume which hopefully will last but then i'm going to go home and uh, over the next few weeks hopefully finish the embroidery on the coat and then I'll have a proper shoot with the whole costume so that I can show you guys the video because I'm really excited about that video I'm really excited about the costume in general I think I did if I say so myself which I usually never do I did a pretty good job um but yeah overall a really good con day uh, I think tomorrow is the last day um and yeah looking forward to it I think we'll do a little bit more shopping maybe try to meet up with some more people and I think we're heading off so, season. Yes. Hello everyone and welcome to day three of London MCM. We are inbound to the convention. My body is falling off. Uh, today is Sunday and it is the last day of the convention. Oh. It's the last day of the convention. And yeah, today uh, we are exhausted and so it's more of a casual boss play thing. I am wearing my uh, Lizzie Bennett Pemberley dress. Uh, and the goals for today are to try and have a good time. <laughs> it is raining, so that's a bit dubious. Um, Sunday is usually a little bit quieter than Saturday, not by much. But the issue is when it rains, um, most of the people that would be hanging out outside will be inside, which means the inside will be way more crowded. Um, but we are going in early for priority entry, which is at 10. And we're hoping to do all the shopping before general entry, which is at 12. That's when it gets really busy. So yeah, we're going to be doing some shopping, some uh, people watching, which is what I really love about ponds. And yeah, hopefully enjoying this last day and not going damp in the rain. We just walked out of the Dungeons and Dragons panel and it was great. Oh my gosh, so exciting for the film. Um, yeah, so if you ever do come to Comic Con, I do re recommend looking at the schedule and go see the panels. We saw some exclusive footage from the film. 
So we're gonna go on around and buy some more things and maybe go outside and stop raining. And to wrap up, so here are my general thoughts on the con. Um, I think this was probably one of the best cons I've ever been to in terms of how much I enjoyed the days. Uh, the quality of cosplays was outstanding. Um, and I also really enjoyed, I think it was by far the best stalls and merch I've seen in a long time. I spent a lot of money, so I thought I'll just go and show you a little bit of what I got. So, um, I think Comic-Con is very famous for something called the Artist Alley, which is a section within the con that has loads of independent artists. Um, and that that section has just expanded over the years as I've seen. So I'd show you, I thought I'd show you, I got one print this year. Um, I'm trying to control how much art I have because it just scales. But I got this one by an artist called uh, Fez in Quite which is beautiful and I'm going to frame it and put it here in my studio and I think this was the con exclusive print and then from the same artist I got this which is called the seed and sickle oracle deck um, which is an oracle deck self-explanatory but it is absolutely stunning the design of this is gorgeous the box is gorgeous um, and so it has the deck which is beautiful look at this and then it has two books for readings. I haven't gone through them yet, but I can let you know on my Instagram what I think of it. Um, for some self-reflection, you know? I think it's important. I usually need a tool for self-reflection because I can't do it by myself. So I thought this would be a good way to do it. Uh, today I got some washi tape. So this one is by an artist called John Turner. And it's like a little ghosty, little spooky tape. I don't know how to do this on this camera. And then I got this really cute Critical Role themed washi tape. Really, really cute. I got a board game. I love going there for board games. This is called Parks and it's a board game themed around America's national parks. And I'd heard about it as like a really highly rated, beautiful game. So I'm really excited to play it. Uh, I think I might try it tonight. And yep, yeah, that was a really good purchase. I also got uh, some stickers, so this is from I think the artist section, but I just got a bunch of really cute stickers. So this is a card capture Sakura sticker, and this one made me laugh. This is a very niche joke, but I've been on this side of book talk, so if you know, let me know in the comments below. It says, and there was only one bed. And what else did I get? I took some Polaroids with uh, my partner and my friends, which I really, really love to memorize a time. Oh, and then from the same artist, the Fez in Christ, if you're interested in her stuff, here's a little card. I don't have the artist for everything because I didn't get cards for everything. But I also got this really cute D&D uh, &D book. Um, it has like a section for your character sheet details. So it's like includes your character sheet and then has a place for campaign notes. Uh, I thought it was really cute and I'm going to save it because hopefully my partner will be starting a new campaign that we can all play in. And then I got a bunch of stuff that was free from the Folio Society. So they were giving away, I got a really cute canvas bag which is downstairs, I got a diary, I got a really cute notebook and some promotional stuff from their upcoming publications. And that's it. I also had some delicious food throughout the days. Uh, I love takoyaki, it's one of my favorite snacks. So I was really glad to have that. And I saw some people, met up with some people and I just had a great time all together. I really recommend if you enjoy this kind of stuff to go check it out. Um, yeah, and I think the one thing that really impressed me, even though I've been going there for 10 years, 
I really walk away inspired. So I were really low key cosplays this time because over the pandemic, I just had no motivation to make a cosplay because I usually just make them to go to a convention and there were no conventions. So that kind of like fell on the back burner. Obviously my heart render Nina Zenik cosplay was a lot of work and I'm really happy with it, but I think I'm going to dial back up and I've already got plans for next uh, May convention and October. So yeah, I think all in all really, really pleasing and I had a great time. Thank you a lot for coming on this vlog and I'll see you all next week.